So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope everything's good wherever you guys are. So guys, John Ryder has come out and said that B Dimitri Bivol showed the blueprint on how to beat Canelo Alvarez. Um, he said Dimitri Bivol has shown that uh, how you go about defeating Canelo Alvarez. Everybody now thinks that they can beat Canelo Alvarez after, you know, what Dimitri Bivol did to him, you know. Um, yeah, he did. He did. But uh, Dimitri Bivol had the physicality. He had the size. He had the reach. He had all of that on his side, which which meant he was able to do that. Uh, Dimitri Bivol is also a very, very good boxer. Uh, John Ryder, from what I've seen of his career, is a guy that likes to make the fight messy. Likes to get on the inside, likes to have a scrap. Um, Jim, John Ryder has a style which I think is tailor-made for Canelo Alvarez, if you see what I mean. If, if John Ryder tries to get on the inside of Canelo Alvarez, try to make it a messy fight, uh, Canelo Alvarez is one of the best body punchers in boxing. Uh, Canelo Alvarez is also a very strong physical guy. And John Ryder isn't going to have the size right, that Dimitri Bivol had. And most importantly, Dimitri Bivol has has is a great boxer. He has great feet. He moves. Uh, he's got very fast hands. John Ryder doesn't have those those skill set that that uh, Bivol has. So he's not going to be able to apply the tactics that Bivol applied because he can't fight like that. He doesn't have the physicality. He doesn't have those attributes that Bivol has. I mean, Bivol's a different level. He's a different, you know, nobody looks at John Ryder as a pound for pound level fighter where you look at someone like Dimitri Bivol. People are now saying he's top five. Some people put him top seven pound for pound, even though he's never been a unified champion. But that's how highly some people rate Dimitri Bivol just from a skills set point of view. John Ryder doesn't have those type of skills to do what Dimitri Bivol did. John Ryder is a guy from what I saw against Callum Smith. He likes to get on the inside, make it a messy, rough, tough fight. And like I said, that type of fight is not gonna get is not gonna he's not gonna be successful if he fights that way against Canelo. That's gonna play into Canelo's hand and he's probably gonna get stopped probably in six rounds if he tries to charge Canelo. He's probably gonna have to box but from what I saw in the Zach Parker fight, from what I saw in the Callum Smith fight, that's not how uh, Danny Jacobs fight. That's not how he fights. He likes to he likes to make it a rough and tough fight. So I don't see how that style is going to work. Because I'm just going off what I've seen previously. And anyone that tries to fight fire with fire with Canelo Alvarez is going to get flattened or is going to get he's, he's going to get hurt. He's going to get hit with a body shot that he's not going to be able to take. That's what's going to happen. Because that's what Canelo's proven throughout his career against, I would say, better fighters, to be honest. John Ryder's a good fighter. There's no doubt about it. But, I mean, and he might be a different John Ryder from what he was early on in his career. But I still don't see how his style is going to cause Canelo much trouble, if I'm honest with you. I think Canelo's going to have... I think Canelo's. I think that's a pretty comfortable fight for Canelo Alvarez, and that's no disrespect to Ryder, who's who deserves the fight, in my opinion. After becoming mandatory and beating Zach Parker, uh, I think he deserves the fight. Um, but I just don't think stylistically he's a match. Uh, Callum Smith. Uh, I think Ca Callum Smith got at times he was bullying Callum Smith, but I just don't think. Um, I just don't think he can do that to Canelo. I think Canelo. I think that style would. Canelo will enjoy that. Canelo enjoys guys coming to him. You know, he enjoys guys coming to him and having a scrap. You know, what Canelo doesn't like is guys that, you know, are, are long, uh, got a huge, great, got long reach and they can just box and move and make it horrible for him. I think that's what Canelo doesn't like or he doesn't, that doesn't really suit his style. But I think John Ryder's style is I can't, kind of tailor-made for him. So I think I can only see really you know, one winner in that, to be honest. I can't see what John Ryder can do because I don't think he can adopt Bivol's fighting style. Everybody's different. You can't fight the way someone else fought. Firstly, Bivol's got a couple of inches on Ryder. He fights completely different. He boxes and moves. Uh, and and even then, Canelo, on a very elusive fighter, Canelo, I felt like, landed a lot of punches. On John Ryder, who's nowhere near as elusive, and fights a completely different way. John Ryder would have to do something that he do he doesn't really do. He'd have to fight a completely different fight, which I, I just don't think... And even if he does try to fight a different fight and try to adopt the Bivol style, he's not going to be able to do it as well as Bivol. Uh, Caleb Plant tried to do it. Caleb Plant, for me, would beat John Ryder. Caleb Plant is a better boxer than John Ryder, in my opinion. 
And uh, Caleb Plant couldn't do it. And that's how Caleb Plant fights. Caleb Plant don't fight. That's how he fights. He boxes and moves and that. And even he couldn't do it against Canelo. He did it. He did it well for a couple of rounds. Uh, for till for ten rounds, I thought Caleb was in the fight doing very well. But again, Canelo got to him. John Ryder doesn't fight like that. John Ryder likes to fight on the inside. Like I said, right, make it a messy, horrible fight. If he does that against Canelo, I think it, it's a short night in my opinion. But yeah, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.